This film also had the creepiest Santa. And you could, oh my god, like, yes! Like, I'll pick Andrew Garfield. Peter 3. Peter 3. <laughs> what did I put that on? Ooh, that comic book filter. <laughs> This green ball? This green this tennis is... ball is Vecna. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't see it, but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Technology. Is Mercury in Gatorade right now? Is that? It oh, is. It's, it's a full moon, actually, so maybe that's the case. <laughs> it is, because my Pokemon Sleep reminded me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get bonus points when I go to sleep. Ooh. I'm just a fancy girl. <laughs> a fancy girl. I'm just a fancy girl in a fancy world. Wow. Oh, scratching my nosy. Um, hello, cinema peeps. <laughs> hey, cinema peeps. <laughs> um, yeah. Technologies and retro Gatorade, I just <laughs> I can't. I, I just can't. Yeah, you know, so there's hopefully... just some days where I feel like more days than not these days, technology has been failing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think there's just too much. I used to yeah. say as a young spry child that I was tech savvy, but I feel like there was just less technology for me to learn. Right. Now it's there's simple. just so much. I'm yeah. like, I. <sighs> the audition's asking me for audio mapping. I'm like, is that the issue? I, I don't know. I just Is assumed you're on people. Who knows? Yeah, fuck, fuck me sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, what are what is my thought? I don't know where my thoughts are going. Podcast yeah. Tuesday. We're starting out right. Yay! They're enough strong. <laughs> um, because we were just chatting. Like we have both watched one new thing, but we also both didn't tell each other. So we're I don't no. know. We're both pretending to be secretive. I guess <laughs> it's gonna be a surprise. I guess it's yeah. a surprise. Honestly, mine's probably not that big of a surprise. So. <laughs> Well, we don't know that. You tell us. Okay, you tell okay. us and we will be the judge of it. Okay. 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 I guess we'll see. Okay. <laughs> so what did you watch that was new this week? Okay. Well, I watched Argyle. Oh. Yes. The Ben Affleck one? No. As if the, there was more? No, not the um the Henry Cavill, Bryce Dallas Howard. Oh. Uh, about the spy uh, writer. Sam Rockwell and the yeah, cat. Yeah, 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 that one, yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Well, in preparation of the Calgary Expo, because they have a bunch of guests coming, I watched the first Scream movie. Since they have a whole bunch of the first Scream movie and one girl from Scream 2, but I don't think I'll have time to watch Scream 2. We'll Wait, see. So this, is this, 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 this was your first time watching Scream? Yes. Or... <gasps> oh, boy. It was my first okay. time. It was wild. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll just move say over that. Argyle. We need to talk about Scream. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to you. We promise. We promise. Well, yeah, we'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like full disclosure, I only watched it because a whole bunch of people from the original cast are coming. Yeah, which is um, dope. Right. Uh, unfortunately, one of the girls who was also in Charmed drop it, dropped out, but you know, uh, that happens. But they yep. still had, uh, they still have, um, as of recording, because expo that happened uh they have obviously the big one for me matthew lillard coming um i was gonna say naomi scott but that's an entirely different actress no her name is something campbell numi campbell yeah i think is how you pronounce it numi campbell yeah yeah and then her boyfriend campbell Campbell, yes thank you yeah and then we have uh the guy who plays her boyfriend billy yeah um the randy the video guy yeah i think they also have the stunt man or maybe the guy who does the voice of scream coming because they just showed the oh yeah scream. yeah that's right they yeah, just yeah, show yeah. him <laughs> so yeah i'm like oh okay <laughs> and and yeah uh one of the girls i know her from big bang from who plays sheldon's mom but i guess she's in scream too um and i i'm sorry if i'm missing somebody else but yeah so that's kind of like the big thing is they have like you know, a big scream panel happening and it's free? Question mark. So I was a little surprised by that. Expo. How honestly? Um, how, just just quickly. How many ghost face cosplays are there going to be at the? Yeah, at Expo it's going to be year? uncomfy. It's going to be funny, but uncomfortable. Like, there's so many. You're going to be like Dead by Daylight flashbacks. Like, oh my god, what's happening? I know every which way. Which that was the first thing I thought of when I saw him on screen. I was like, this is so Dead by Daylight. This is so funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I watched it because of that. And uh, I mean, I was going to see Matthew Lillard because he is Scooby-Doo and Springtrap. So, I mean, I was yep. going to go see him regardless. But I thought, you know what? Let's at least watch the first movie. 
Heck yeah. And see what I'm getting into. Okay. And oh my God, what the fuck did I watch? (laughs) I know, right? (laughs) It is so. And I mean, to be fair, Prime does say it's a comedy thriller. Yeah. It is so weird. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. So (laughs) I I don't even know how to explain this movie. To be fair, <laughs> I mean, there's the iconic scene with uh Drew Barrymore at the beginning, yep, which I'd always like. I think I saw like mini clips. I'd never seen it in its entirety, you know. And How I was trying brutal, to remember, hey? yeah, yeah, very vicious. Mm-hmm. Um, right. So then you're like, where's the comedy? Like it treads the line so weirdly. Mm-hmm. It counter like my best comparison I could make is that to me it was like Ghostbusters. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, I feel Ghostbusters though probably blends it a a little bit better. And again, maybe this is not fair to say to Scream just because, you know, time, the passage of time and just like some of the writing to me felt very, and I don't use this word lightly, but a little cringe. Um, Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And again, I'm a person who's not like, like, I don't get cringe very hard, but like Mm -hmm. the dialogue, I was like, oh, ah. Yeah, because they they talk. I mean, they pay a lot of homage to like horror. Like they're playing um Halloween one in the background at the mm-hmm. end, ending climax. They talk all about these scary movies. They have like references to Freddy Krueger. Like they have references to so many like horror films. So, oh like, yeah, I did feel happy that last year I did watch both like Friday the Thirteenth and Halloween because then yeah, it gave me. I was like, oh hey, that, appreciation that, that yeah yeah. But yeah, it is a weird fucking movie. Just say right. The least. It, it well, is so I mean, weird. Now that you've seen, especially the first one, like I, it's been a while since I've seen all the rest of them. I'd love to do mm-hmm. like a full on marathon again. I think I was talking to one of my friends about doing that, but I think that'd be sick to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you you can kind of see like why it's got such a cult following and why it's become such a classic horror movie as well. Oh, I was actually gonna say I'm surprised it's actually still going. I know, right? Me too, honestly. <laughs> like, it's so weird. I guess there, it's just that concept you can still kind of, like, continue forward. And, like, honestly, now that you're going down this rabbit hole, if you choose to continue down, there's the TV series. There's I was just about to say, movies as I, you was, have to watch. I was watching it, and I was like, didn't they release a TV show? So yeah. I was, like, go- I, I was breaking my own rules because I was Googling. I was like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. You know? Yep. But, yeah, like, because it came out in 19... 19- 1996, I want to say. Yes, seven. Yes, because <laughs> like because they're making so many references to horror films, right? They're like want to play a game, and I was like, Saw was not out at that point, so I was googling. I'm like, yeah, Saw didn't come out till 2000, but I do wonder. I'm like, did they steal that from Scream? You know? Yeah. Because again, I think we talked about this last Halloween, how like I had watched those ones, and then they had the um, uh, how it was made. And they talked about the time where, like, hey, like, you know, the time Halloween came out, there was no, like, thriller and everything was, like, super gory. But they played it as, like, you know, you don't see a lot of, like, the horror, Mm -hmm. you know, and how it, like, broke the mold. But then everybody was doing that. So then the guy who made Jason or Friday the 13th, sorry, was like, I want to do the polar opposite and be super gory and, like, how that caught on. And then you Mm -hmm. have Nightmare on Elm Street. And so, like, it's so interesting how they, like, pull inspiration from each other. And I feel like that's what Scream was also doing, was, like, trying to pull this, but then break the mold by being this weird hybrid of a comedy, being, like, kind of self-aware, but still falling yeah. to its own trope. It's kind of kind of tongue-in-cheek, you know. in a yeah. way. And uh, the guy who directed uh, Scream also directed... Uh, yeah, Wes Craven. Yeah. Yeah, I, exactly. I Googled yeah. that, and I was like, what the fuck? I was yeah. like, huh? <laughs> wasn't that the same guy? Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was so. I mean, there was like a big uh, reference to Freddy Krueger as the gender dressed up very horribly as yeah. Freddy Krueger. But yeah, it was like yeah. I don't, I don't feel like not to be like, oh, I don't know what the word is like high and mighty. But like I, I truly don't know how to describe this to someone who's never seen Scream. Yeah, you know, like there's no words to describe it to like give it just like just to justify it it's so yeah. like you said it breaks the mold it, it just it took so all the like weird. you said it took all the best bits of every horror movie mm-hmm. like um uh what's that one 
what a stranger calls, like with him talking to her on the phone while she's home alone. Like there's all these little like yeah. nods and things, all these little tropes from all horror movies that just like are all bundled into one kind of thing. Right. And that was their whole shtick. Uh, spoilers for, you know, the two villain characters. They're like, oh, yeah, we just watched a couple horror movies like we and we just took the we just took tips from them. And that's and that's why we're doing it. Haha. <laughs> and they're like, motive. What motive? Sometimes they don't have a motive. They're just scary. <laughs> and it's mm-hmm. like, what the fuck is going on? Right. And the end sequence, it didn't feel like it would ever end because I was like, this guy's dead. Oh, no, we got to shoot him in the head. <laughs> we got to do that. And I was right. Like, this is so weird. <laughs> also, you know, it's the blooming love of uh, Dave Arquette and Courtney Cox. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, as she's the reporter. So I don't know where I was going with that. I was just I just wanted to shout out David Arquette and David uh, Arquette, yeah, and uh, Courtney Cox. I'm like, yeah. they're in this film too. Woo! Right. She was very mean to her cameraman. I was like, you don't have to be that mean to him. I was like, well, right. that was not necessary, Courtney. What the hell? But I was trying to think, I think up to that point, obviously, like, she was about most known for Friends, so. Yeah. This was her other kind of breakout role at mm-hmm. that time. But yeah, it was definitely a fucking experience. I was like, this is so weird. Yeah. Like, I think I enjoyed it. I was just like, I, I, <laughs> right? I was it's so one that you kind of have to ponder on, <laughs> take some time away, revisit it again. Because I yeah. remember when I first saw Scream, I wasn't a big fan of it at the time. Because yeah. to me, it wasn't scary. It was just like all, all. I was, I was almost offended in a way. I'm like, why are they making fun of horror movies? Like, what do these people think they're? Ugh. <laughs> and like now that I've obviously like you know, yeah, widened my uh, my view on everything and seen more horror movies and stuff. Looking back on it now, I'm like, yeah, I I can see where they were going with this, and I can appreciate it now. It's it's good. It's all. It kind of reminds me, not in the same vein, but. A basically a more elevated version of like you know when they were trying to make those parody movies mm-hmm. like that's what it kind of feels like it, like it was a but it wasn't really a parody it was just like an homage so it didn't feel like it was very it's very meta in a sense like it's yeah like this the 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 story that's happening isn't the horror it's the fact that these kids took inspiration from horror movies did it without really a motive they just wanted to you know kill a bunch of let people. loose and just yeah and just do shit and mm-hmm. have the bragging rights to say they could and i think it's that that's the horror that's kind of the scary part of the whole thing it's not so much what they're doing like the story itself it's like knowing that mm-hmm. like it's kind of like oh god like they would go to that length and to the the point where they like injure each other and like that mess with this poor girl who just like wild. went through so much trauma in her life and everything. That I think that's why I like the strangers too, because it was just like they're like, "Why are you doing this?" And it's like because you were home. We had we don't know who you are. We, yeah. we had no other knowledge of who you are. We just picked a random house and decided to terrorize you. And it's like that alone is oh god, Ooh. right? The fact yeah. of the unknown. Yeah, those scenes right? were very painful. Like, yeah, your mom's been dead for almost a year. Like, get over it. Yeah, and then she's like, "You're right. I shouldn't be stuck in the grieving process." And I was just like, "Nope, mm-hmm. <laughs> red flags, red flags, red baby. flags, yeah, red flags." <laughs> my guy, just running my across guy. the screen, like, <laughs> yeah. "Oh my gosh!" I think they were also like thinking about it now. They're trying to, like, they also like you know they were commenting on tropes and then kind of like falling into them, but then they were also like kind of making like at the time making kind of new ones because mm-hmm. really up to that point like i don't think i mean sorry my brain thinking too fast um <laughs> so i will say like i pretty i believe i knew that again sorry for spoilers everybody if you don't want spoilers very sorry um that billy and his friend uh shaggy uh were the villains yeah just because i feel like i saw a clip one time of like the scene from the kitchen mm-hmm so I, I think I knew, I kind of already knew going in, you know, so it was very hard to kind of get that out of my mind. Mm-hmm. But like the beginning scene where they're like, oh, I think it's him. Like, oh, it's not. And then it turns out to be her boyfriend kind of thing. I don't mm-hmm. really feel up to that point. Like, or like horror movies never really did that. It was always like someone who was like the guy who watches too much movies, you know, who has all this knowledge. It's always that guy or, you yeah. know, 
somebody else, not like again, someone again he supposedly trusted. Yeah. Yeah. So in a way they were kind of starting that kind of new trope and Yeah, it's kinda like you know. It's kind of like a psychological thriller in a sense where yeah. like they set up all these tropes to make you think you know what's going to happen and mm-hmm. think you know what's safe, but then they make you question everything. So like... Because they were like, you know, it could you, have been you, the dad. Yeah, they, they dad. make you think it could have been the boyfriend, but then there's times where you're like, well, no, it can't be. Like, look at him. And then mm-hmm. it could be the dad or it could be the friend or who knows, right? Like maybe it's Courtney Cox. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or Shaggy. I mean, unfortunately, yeah. I just knew it had to be Shaggy. I was like, that man is so crazy. And his tongue is so huge. Oh, my God. Right? I was like, <laughs> bruh, put that shit away. Yeah. That is right. radonkulous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I am. I'm actually kind of invested. I'm I'm curious about the second one again, though. I was watching because I was watching all the trailers for them last mm-hmm. night. So I saw the trailer for the second one where she goes off to college. And of course, they're a huge emphasis on like, sequels la 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 and it's like oh mm-hmm. and i was like okay we'll see but i <laughs> i'm more curious about the third one where they make a movie adaptation and they're the ones on set yeah there wasn't a proper trailer for that they just had a scene like one of the scenes from it but i was like that like is so funny like i'm like right? all right i'm fucking ready yeah and to be fair i don't know i guess i should have done a little more research but obviously rest uh west craven did the first three for sure mm-hmm. i don't know if he did scream four but I, I might have remember. to look that up. Yeah, I do but remember then, enjoying Scream 4. Yeah, so then there's yeah. 4. And then 5 is kind of like this soft, not a reboot, but um, I remember it was a big deal when 5 came out. Yeah, yeah. And then now, I think 6 just came out last year. Yeah. But I can't find 5 anywhere. It's a little annoying. When I Google oh, it, really? they were like, oh yeah, it's on Paramount Plus. But I was like, I can't find it. But I will say, when I was like um, looking at all the Scream movies on Paramount Plus, they were also trying to direct me somewhere else to pay for Scream Two, and I was like, "That's weird." But it was hmm. under uh, Paramount Plus to watch for free. So I don't know why they were directing me. Prime, you're fucking Confusion. weird. Yeah. So I would like to, yeah, for sure. I'll watch like the first three, but I do want to continue on and see, like, because it seems like. Especially because, again, I was watching the trailers, like, in these more modern ones, it seems more about, like, like horror and maybe less about, you know, mm-hmm. being meta. But, you know, I'm I'm down. I'm down for this rabbit hole journey I'm on. Excellent. I feel like, too, it'll really, like, not that there's much to go on. Like, no, like, you obviously know who the character is in Dead by Daylight and stuff. But I don't know, just yeah. sometimes knowing knowing where, how just how much emphasis this character has kind of like gives you more yeah. appreciation for them when you I will them say the stuff. beginning sequence with Drew Barrymore where he was stalking around the house I was like oh my god just reveal him just stare at him long enough and then he's reveal <laughs> girl just do it <laughs> like it's so yeah. funny how like they I will say like how they matched his actions and his crouching oh yeah but yeah I guess the other the last two things I or sorry the last three things I want to comment on so about like again because this probably falls under the meta and stuff but like because he was just a person, like he was thrown around like a fucking rag doll. Like when they I know, kicked right? him, like did that. I was like, what am I watching? Is this a wrestling thing now? Like what I the fuck? Like Drew Barrymore was gonna do a right hook on him. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but then like it made this scene less scary. But then it was like very meta because it's like, oh yeah, because he mm-hmm. is just a person. So yeah, I mean, it was still a little wild, like how much they were like throwing themselves at this. But I was like, this is. Like, this is very entertaining. It's very funny. Right. It's very weird. But I was like, yeah, I was like, this is so funny. I don't know if you've ever seen Scary Movie, like the the parody of Scream, but you should watch it mm. before you go, before you continue on with the Scream uh, marathon. You should watch Scary Movie. I think I've seen like bits and pieces of it. Okay. I'm sure. But I'm now sure that you've I seen have. Scream, I feel like you'll, you'll get such a kick out of Scary Movie. <laughs> like, it's just... Everything you're talking about, they make fun of and turn it up to 11 in it. And it's just yeah. hilarious. So now, like, every time I go back and watch Scream, all I think about is, like, the funny references and everything. I was going to say, it's I, don't so think it, I don't think it was the first scary movie. Maybe it was the second one where they're parroting The Ring. Oh, I remember yeah. watching yeah. that scene. And again, they were throwing around like a rag doll. I remember yeah. watching that. And I was like, that is so weird. Right? That was wild. Uh, the other thing about the yeah, opening no, the, sequence. The first one's classic. Right? Yeah. So fucking good. 
I will say I was I was more I know everyone was like, oh no, Drew Barrymore, what are you doing? I was also like, girl, your popcorn is burning. I know. Like, we can do it like <laughs> later on. And I'm like, I, I told you it was burning. Yeah. I was more worried about the popcorn. So I'm very right. sorry. I was just like, that popcorn. Like, we need to, we need to, guys, we need to watch it. Someone it quick, turn off the stove, please. I know, I was like, please take it off, please take it off. <laughs> I mean, I've never used that, like, I think that's like the kettle brand or whatever. Yeah, like, the Jiffy Pop that. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Jiffy Pop, and you yeah. use it at, like, campfires, too, and it just stresses me out too much. I'm like, no, just, I'll right? go with the old-fashioned, you know, I'll take the micro wave, radio wave, whatever comes out of my microwave and just put right? it in the fucking microwave. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm too stressed. I'm, I fucking can't. Right. Uh, and yeah, again, the last thing I want to say, and again, maybe this just falls under the meta thing, the soundtrack was wild. Like, <laughs> the songs they picked and just, like, the volume of the music was all over the place. Yeah. Again, maybe that was just, like, you know, again, because it was an older film, maybe being played on modern... Like audio systems, it's not the same, but there mm-hmm. were just some parts where it was just like very loud. And I was like, what? Ha- who is mixing? What is happening? <laughs> but again, maybe it was just part of the meta. It was. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. Scream, what an experience. What a weird time. <laughs> well, this what makes me so time. happy that you've seen it and that you're just hearing your thoughts on it. Cause yeah, it, <laughs> it's definitely a classic. And I think, I can't remember if it was in the, one of those like how they made it documentaries or if I just read it somewhere, but. They were saying something something to the effect of that Scream was the first time that anybody actually, like, brought to light these uh, rules of a horror movie. Mm-hmm. Like, no one really caught on to that until until Scream when they were like, number one, don't say you'll be right or uh, don't. Yeah. Don't. Uh, you have to be a virgin or you, you can't drink right. and dr- do drugs and don't ever say you'll be right back because you're not going to be right back. Like, they mm-hmm. never no one had ever really, like, brought that up. And so it was kind of a neat like after that, anytime you watched a horror movie you just knew like oh shit that person's gonna die oh shit that person's gonna die like <laughs> right and i think it makes it even funnier that because it was from director wes craven like someone who was like i think it wouldn't have had maybe as big of an impact if it was just like somebody else who did it yeah but somebody who who you know helped pave the genre mm-hmm. making these points like it does make it even funnier yeah right to be like have that kind of self aware humor, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, I actually haven't watched Nightmare on Elm Street, and I remember, I think I watched part of or all of the How It Was Made, and one of the actresses did talk about like killing off one of the characters so early on in mm-hmm. the film that that wasn't again a thing that happened. So yeah, I think he was probably the right fit for the job, <laughs> right? But yeah, that was my adventure with Scream 1. That's amazing. I'm so, so happy yeah. that you that you saw it and that you hopefully enjoyed it and you'll continue to go I'm, down the rabbit hole. I'm definitely continuing for sure. Excellent. Whether I can find them to watch for free on the platform is another story altogether. Right, yeah. That I'm going to have to research and figure out. Yeah. But um, I'd be I'd be curious to know too if you do end up like taking on the TV series, what your thoughts on the TV series is too. Mm. Yeah, a big journey ahead. I'm ready. Mm-hmm. I'm fucking ready. <laughs> um, but from weird, me- I mean, I guess to be fair, I don't know much about Argyle, but it's also kind of like you know we're going from Scream that was very meta, and like this one's a little meta e as well. You know, it's about a writer from what I gather from the trailers who writes spy novels, and then she ends up being in a like a spy. Yeah, kind, kind of like in her kind own spy of, mo- kind of mo- in a way. Yeah, mo- mo- way. I'm curious of what you. think think because i was i saw one review from somebody and they did not have a good time watching well they didn't like it as much as they thought they were going to I, i'm kind of of the same uh pool because i mean i had i really didn't know much about it other than like what you said with the trailer mm-hmm. where you kind of see like okay so she's a espionage writer and somehow she gets thrown into an espionage like adventure kind of thing yeah um and so uh the first Half of the movie was really interesting. They kind of set it up really cool. It was like there was a lot of fun moments between her and Sam Rockwell. Um, and uh, yeah, some of the action sequences were kind of cool. Personally, I, I this is a whole rant for another time, but <laughs> I just find a lot of action sequences nowadays are a little too choreographed mm. where they don't feel real. So sometimes I, I don't know that it'll take me out of the film. Because it's just like, I don't know, like when you compare to like some of the older um, 
movies with action sequences. Like they're choreographed, obviously, but it's not quite so obvious. Whereas I find <laughs> nice sometimes polished. in the movie, yeah, and sometimes maybe it's just because they everybody's now found that um oh we can like move the camera with the action now and it's kind of cool. So there's like yeah. you have to hit this point and this point and this point and duh. And it just to me it seems a little too like you know it's like okay duh duh duck and now a kick and blah blah like so it just I don't know it seems it just takes me out of it a little bit. Mm-hmm. But anyways, um, yeah, so that was kind of cool seeing all that add up. And then they kind of you you get to the big reveal at the end. And then like everything else after that just kind of was like, what am I watching? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. It was just like they ran out of ideas or something happened and they were like, let's just do this. OK, cool. Let's do it. Yeah. It, it's, it's, yeah there's a lot of like dance sequences that showed up out of nowhere and then like there's yeah like 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 they're fighting but then it turns into a dance sequence and then there's like smoke and sparkles and like everything and then she, all of a sudden she's skating on oil while she's like trying to kick ass but like it's like this big figure skating sequence and you're just kind of like oh. what am i watching <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I, yeah yeah hearing even secondhand i'm like Hmm. Okay. Right? Like, they started off strong, and it was cool, and you were invested in the story, and then all of a sudden, it just, like, you're like, Dip. this is not where I thought this was going to go. Interesting. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Was it directed by Guy Ritchie? I don't think this one was directed by him. Or am I? I could be on crack. There, There <laughs> but... is one that just came out this weekend that was directed by him called The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare that does have Henry Cavill in it, so maybe that's mm. what you're thinking of? Maybe. Um... There's also a TV show, I think, on Netflix, The Gentleman or something. Yeah. My brother was watching a little bit of it, and I was just like, hmm, okay. This one was directed by Matthew Vaughn, and he did Kick-Ass, oh, Matthew X-Men Vaughn. First Class. Okay, okay. okay. King, he did, uh, he was, pre- he, uh, blah, 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 he produced The Kingsman. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. yeah. That's kind of unfortunate. I definitely like, I was going to say, all the ones you just listed, I, I love those movies. Right? Well, and it could, maybe it's the writing, I don't know, like, I don't want to to point blame at anybody but point blame at maybe everyone. maybe that was the intention the whole time but i don't know it just didn't hit like the, the whole synopsis is that like I, you want me to tell you or you you want to go see it go for it okay tell me the synopsis <laughs> so the whole kind of synopsis is that yeah she's this uh writer uh very successful writer of these espionage books this character argyle who is henry cavill and his uh sidekick is uh john cena <laughs> <laughs> okay and so yeah so they kind of like start the movie off with her reading um she's at a like a book signing or whatever and so she's mm. reading chapters from her book and so obviously they're showing the sequences of Henry Cavill and John Cena uh doing all the action from what she's talking about and then so then she's uh in the middle of writing her next book but she's struggling to like figure out what to write mm. she's like i'm just like this stuff used to flow to me before and now i'm just like i'm drawing a blank so her mom goes, well, why don't you like come down, come home for the weekend and like spend some time with dad and I, maybe that'll help like refresh mm-hmm. some stuff. And she's like, okay. A so Hallmark goes, film. I see. I see. Right? <laughs> Starts <laughs> off kind of. Yeah. So then she gets on the train to like go head home. And then all of a sudden she bumps into Sam Rockwell and he's like in disguise, obviously. Mm-hmm. So he's like, he recognizes her and he's like, oh, I'm a big fan. Oh, this is really cool. Okay. You need to come with me kind of thing. Right. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? And he's like, yeah, d- just, just, you know. Play it, play it cool. There's people on here trying to. They're coming after you. So like, and she's like, "What the hell are you talking about?" And so there's this whole like big action sequence where he's like fighting off all the people who are trying to attack her. But in her mind, she sees because the way they kind of introduced it in the beginning was like Argyle was her love. So like, mm. she has this like kind of weird like crush on her character that she's created. <laughs> so every time she sees Sam Rockwell like fighting. She'll blink, and then it's Henry Cavill like fighting. So there's like uh. this kind of juxtaposition between the two. So you're kind of like, okay, this is interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, and so yeah, so then he explains that yeah, uh, he's uh he is the real Argyle, um, or a version of what she okay. uh, writes in her book, kind of thing, right? And he's like, so this this whole like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like the whole facility that you write about these spies and everything, all of it is real, mm-hmm. but you are also a spy too and you just don't know it and she's like what like what are you talking about i'm not a spy like i i can't i i'm too scared to leave my home kind of thing right like she's like that's not me 
And so like the whole time he's trying to like get her to remember that she's a spy and something happened to her. I can't remember if it was like the villains like did something to brainwash her. I think it was uh-huh. to like forget that she was a spy because it had something to do with the mission or whatever. And so this whole these whole past five years, she's been um, brainwashed to think that she's not a spy, but she keeps recalling memories from being mm. a spy and she's writing about them. So all these like stories that she's writing about Argyle are actually her adventures that she kind of remembers from like a past uh, life. But yeah. Weird. So all that's interesting. And then they finally get to the point where she embraces who she is as a spy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, Bless so... you. <laughs> Thank you. So they get to the point where she finally embraces herself as a spy and she realizes that Sam Rockwell's like her John Cena, basically. Mm. Um, and then it just gets really weird from there because then she's like, oh, okay. So like, I love you. And then they're like, they they like prof- or profess their love for each other while they're like trying to kick butt and like <laughs> escape the facility, but they're like dance sequencing at the same time while doing it. And there's all this like we- <laughs> yeah, so it just gets it gets really weird after the uh after that happens. But yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I mean, check it out for yourself. <laughs> see, see it's on Apple, it. right? Apple Plus. Yeah, on Apple Plus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, interesting. Yeah, interesting, right? I was wondering how they were gonna pull that together. Yeah, like I said, all of it was interesting, and I'm like, okay, so this is kind of cool. Like she's like she's every time she sees him, she kind of sees uh, Henry Cavill, and it's like him, Henry Cavill's talking to her, and like mm. kind of giving her pep talks at the same time, and so she's thinking that Sam Rockwell is her Argyle, when in reality she's Argyle, and Sam mm-hmm. Rockwell is her John Cena character, right? Mm. yeah so interesting interesting yeah that could be a fun movie night though right it is like overall it was a fun watch it's just that last half i was kind of <clears> like <throat> where are we going what is happening <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here what's what happening are we doing here <laughs> what's happening what's yeah. happening but there's a lot of like famous faces in it too like brian cranston's in it samuel mm. jackson's in it so that's kind of cool dua lipa dua lipa's in it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stars that a cast yep Damn. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. 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 Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see if I want to give it a shot later. But yeah, I gotta finish my new scream obsession and see yes. <laughs> where that goes. So I love how we've like traded. Like it's like you I've given you Scream, you've given me f- uh, five nights at Freddy's. So now we've got like <laughs> <laughs> two rabbit holes to explore down now. Right? And it's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be a great time. Uh, yep. Speaking of Five Nights, they have finally announced that, yeah, second one is coming. Yes. Mm-hmm. Or it's in, pro- I don't think it's in production. Maybe it's in pre-production. Mm. But I think they, it's not coming out till at least 2026, I think is what they said. Yeah. At least that's the goal. So Right. I think if anything, that's just been greenlit. So, but either way, excitement. excitement. All right. But with the countdown on, I think that'll do it for today's episode. Excellent. I think we did good. I think we, I did, think we did. Yes. I think we this did is a good, good episode. Sorry, baby. Um, <laughs> anyways, if you enjoyed us going down our little rabbit holes, uh, please leave a comment down below. Have you seen Scream? Have you seen Argyle? What do you guys think? Is there anything we should be also watching? Leave them in the comments down below. And uh, consider leaving this video a little like see and consider subscribing to Pretty Cool Gals, in my opinion. Just fine. <laughs> but uh, we hope you have a happy Tuesday. Watch all the content, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Monkey, monkey, monkey. monkey? Hey. Don't knock anything over. Oh.